Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a browser web app. Web apps are essentially versions of websites that can open in their own individual windows to make it look like it's an actual app. They can be pinned to the taskbar or the dock, depending on what operating system you're on, and they allow for a lot more versatility. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you using Chromium based web browsers. So uh, I'll use Google Chrome, but the steps will be the same on all Chromium based web browsers. Uh, with macOS Sonoma, so the latest version of macOS is currently in beta and it will be released later this year, around September, you can actually create browser web apps in that. So let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a video about how to do that on Safari when it eventually releases to the public. But today I'll be doing it for the Chromium web browsers, which make up the majority of the market. So what we'll do is we'll open up Google Chrome here. And as I said earlier, this will work on other Chromium based browsers such as Brave, um, Microsoft Edge, things like that. What we're going to do is there's certain websites that will allow you to create web apps for them. So some may not work and some will. So a good example of this is YouTube. So we'll go to youtube.com here and when we look it up uh it sort of looks normal on this website excuse the recommender this is just um a not signed in account so it doesn't um reflect uh anything it's just random videos but um in the address bar here if we go over to the right hand side you'll see you've got your typical favorite share but you'll also have a new button uh that looks like it's a download icon and when you hover over it, it says install YouTube or install whatever website you have open. Now, this doesn't work on all websites. If we go to apple.com here, um, sometimes it won't show up. Like for now, for example, right now it's not showing up now. I think there is a way that you can still install it, but it's a little bit more complicated. And I'm just going to go through the simple process in this video today. Um, so yeah, some websites you may not be able to do it on, so you'll just have to try certain ones, but YouTube is a good example of one that you can do it on. So if we click that install button, it'll say install app, it'll say YouTube, www.youtube.com, or that will change depending on whatever app you're using. It'll also show the icon it will use, and then you can just click install. Now, it's installed on the computer, and you can see that it's its own individual window now. So I can make this full screen, I can completely resize it to any way I would like to. And you'll see here, it looks like its own individual browser. So we can make it full screen, like a complete full screen mode there. Lots of different ways you can interact with that. You can also see down the bottom here, it's, it's coming up as its own app on the dock. So I can even right click on it and go options, keep in dock, and it will now sit in my dock wherever I want it. So I can move it around, I can put it here, and if I close the window off, and we'll, you can see it's also loaded into the Chrome app section on Finder. But if we close that off, I can just open up YouTube at any time and it'll open up like that. Now, you can see um, there's a few different options here. So when you're in the window, you can see that um, there are your typical traffic light systems there. You've got a back button and a refresh button, so you can refresh as much as you want. We can go over, you can see the name of the window there is just YouTube. And then we can see we've got extensions, so any extensions that are on this computer. In this case, I've got the Chromebook Recovery Utility. Um, but any other extensions you have, you can manage extensions. And then you've got the hamburger menu that just gives you app info. You can copy the URL, open it back in Chrome. Uh, so that will open this website back in your normal web browser. So the one that's behind me here, we can uninstall it. We can change to zoom, print, find, cast, edit, and things like that. Now you can see that if we click the app info, just got some different things here about secure connections and things like that. If we want to reopen it in Chrome, we'll just click that and it opens the site back in Chrome and closes the web app that we made. And 
for one last demonstration, if I reopen YouTube here and I go to the hamburger menu and then I can just click uninstall. So if we no longer want the web app anymore, we can uninstall it. You can choose whether you want to clear all data from the whole Chrome browser or you maybe just want to remove the app. In this case, I just want to remove the app. So I'll click remove and it removes it completely. Now, if I try to click YouTube, you'll see it's had a question mark and then it got rid of itself eventually. So that's sort of how it works. And now it will all just view normally in the browser. So yeah, that's the pretty simple process on how to install a web app on your browser. So that should work. I know I demonstrated on Chromium based browsers, but even things like Firefox and Opera should operate the same way. And once again, if you'd like me to make a video on Safari when it comes out later this year with macOS Sonoma, I'm more than happy to make that. So just let me know in the comments. But yeah, hopefully this video was helpful in allowing you to create web apps on your browser. Thanks for watching this video on Unpack Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.